There's only one thing that counts in marketing and 10 times that much in video marketing. It's not strategy. It's not your imagery. It's not your packaging or your charisma or your editing or your copywriting. But if you have this one thing, all those other things will help you. So if you're tired of watching your competitors eat your lunch by making a series of gimmicky or even ethically questionable moves, please know you don't have to sink to their level. In fact, it's really just the opposite. It's a made-to-order superpower. Hi, I'm Steve Washer, and you're watching The Visible Authority, where we elevate your video marketing skills to give you that critical edge. The concept we'll look at right now will help you stay balanced in this shaky universe we're all living through right now. And how do we keep our balance? Empathy. Empathy. Without it, you're a banging drum or a clanging cymbal, a blowhard, a hollow man with nothing to share. None of that may be true, of course, but for all your audience knows, it might as well be. So what is empathy and how do we use it in a video? Webster defines it as the action of understanding, being aware of, being sensitive to, and vicariously experiencing the feelings, thoughts, and experience of another without having the feelings, thoughts, and experience fully communicated in an objectively explicit manner. Whew. By the way, there are three different kinds of empathy, but only one of them will truly make your message resonate. First, there's the cognitive, which helps you understand how the other person feels and what they might be thinking. This is what helps you motivate people, so it's often used for creating promotional stuff but it never touches the deep emotions. So you don't actually feel what that person is feeling. It leaves things on a superficial level. A sociopath can mimic this kind of empathy. So we need something more powerful. Enter emotional empathy. That's when, as author Daniel Goleman puts it, you feel physically along with the other person as though their emotions were contagious. It helps fire those mirror neurons the same ones that make us hide our face in the pillow when we're watching a horror movie. Which also means you can become so overwhelmed by feelings that you can't effectively neutralize the gimmicks being used by some of the other market participants. Fortunately, there's a third kind of empathy, and this is the way of the discriminating marketer. It's called compassionate empathy, where again, according to Goldman, we not only understand a person's predicament and feel with them, but are spontaneously moved to help if needed. You feel the other's emotions without losing yourself. You may even be able to understand them from a deeper level than they do themselves. This is the kind of empathy that helps you craft a campaign that has true resonance with the receiver. You more accurately perceive their hopes and dreams. In fact, you're able to find the words to describe their problems that they might not have, where they say, yeah, that's me. I just didn't know how to say it. And once someone feels known at a level they didn't quite know themselves, a little trust opens up that allows you to talk about a real solution to a real problem. If you're using video, you have some amazing tools to communicate empathy. Sure, there are words, but that's the lowest common denominator. 7%, according to some famous research done by Albert Morabian. There's nonverbal communication through voice and body. There's timing and rhythm and music and passion and packaging and positioning and inspiration. Why would you not want to use that? It's something the sociopaths can't do. It's something no gimmicks can imitate. You want to reach people today in a world where, where trust in our institutions and global corporations is crumbling faster than a house trailer in a hurricane, and deservedly so? Now is the time to do something they aren't doing, and never really could. True empathy stands apart like a cool drink of water to an overheated runner. We can all get better at empathy with a little practice. After a while, it becomes habit, and over time, any habit becomes effortless. Empathy allows you to enter someone's world, capture their imagination, and take them places they never would have thought they could go on their own. Empathy 
is leadership. Empathy is visible authority.